tell us what tell us what is what causes a Jones fracture. Uh, what is a what's a timeline for return typically on this? Because we see it across sports, but we don't know exactly what it is when we read it. What what is this foot injury? A Jones fracture is a fifth metatarsal, so on the outside of your foot, and it's his right foot, uh, and it's at the base, and it's usually considered a stress fracture or overuse fracture. Now, I don't say that as being critical of the Titans coaching and how they've used him. It's just that, you know, it's whether it's training your size, your body, and the workload, and whatever you're doing, cleats sometimes, and it is a natural area where the blood flow is not as strong and such more prone to fracture. And when it does, often you can't see it on x-ray. Heck, he uh, finished the game, right? 28 he carries, did. 68 yards. Not nearly as productive as normal. However, uh, when it happens, it's slow to heal. Thus, surgery is what's best. The typical timeline is eight weeks. But I think for Henry, it will be a little bit longer. Because of the position that he plays or the wear and tear and how much he's used or for some other reason? Well, certainly not because he's not a beast, right? The guy's right. amazing physical specimen. But maybe because he is, this fracture, Jones fracture, almost could be called a wide receiver fracture. It's most common in wide receivers. You know, Julio Jones, uh, you know, uh, uh, Julian Edelman. There's about a dozen, two dozen in the last couple of years that have had that. And Derrick Henry is no wide receiver. He runs the ball 30 times a game. No wide receiver gets 30 targets in a game. And he carries 245 plus pounds, right? And, and makes all these cuts. And I think that's why it will be harder for Derrick Henry to come back. I would take the over eight weeks on a return. And remember, return from any injury is not like a light switch. Recovery is not a light switch. It's not like eight weeks and he's 100% and seven weeks and six days he can't play. I mean, at eight weeks, he might do something. At 10 weeks, a little bit more. For him to be Derrick Henry again, you love that to be the playoffs, which is, what, 11 weeks away, assuming Tennessee makes it. I would I would book that right now if you said full go Derrick Henry at 11 weeks, his usual self. That's a win right there. So, uh, you know, I think it's a good thing that you guys brought in Adrian Peterson. I mean, uh, and uh, he's older, but you're only asking him to play half a season. You mentioned Julian Edelman. Is Julian Edelman the example on the extreme end of how quickly you can get back from this injury? Well, you can get back early. I mean, uh, when I was playing, and I can say this because I've had permission, Marcellus Wiley had one in the preseason, and uh, he missed uh, one game and uh, played and uh, made the Pro Bowl that year, but as an edge rusher and whatever. But I think he was playing through some soreness and pain. Six weeks is really pushing it. I don't see them pushing it that hard for uh, – uh, you know, uh, uh, Derrick Henry, especially, and even then when Julian Edelman did come back, right, you adjust the routes and the number of targets and the number of snaps. That's not Derrick Henry. I mean, it's Derrick Henry's is, is your bell cow. 